evening everyone, it's Doug from Vermont Hoyas and welcome to a visit with myself and Hoya Linearis. This is a Hoya that I kept about 10 years ago. I only had it for a few months and I and I lost it and I never tried it again and I have to say I'm extremely thankful to a very kind uh, woman from Arizona who said you need to try this again and sent me a small plant at the beginning of the summer and it's done remarkably well for me so um, I, I can't tell you how surprised and happy I am because it really is a cool cool plant um, this lacy foliage um, that's soft it's just it's it's just wonderful and I've been lucky enough that the thing actually has flowered for me and this the flowers have a beautiful lemony scent quite unlike anything that I've uh, I've smelled on any other um, Hoya flower look at that if that's not beautiful and I have another set of buds right here that are just opening up so extremely extremely cool plant um, uh, many of you out there that are watching this I'm sure know a lot more about growing this plant than myself I've always thought that it was a cool grower um, although it did very well for me inside the house this summer and it got very warm in there both day and night um, so I can't say I can't really speak from too much experience because I've only been growing this plant now for for a few months but it came in a uh, a bonsai mix and the plant has done incredibly well I don't know if you can see that right there it's the same mix that I'm using um, on my Hoya Darwinii and I got the idea because this plant was growing so well coming in bonsai mix and I had to ask the woman who sent it exactly what she used and I I picked up the same thing it's just an inorganic bonsai mix from uh, bonsai jack that I add a little bit of uh, fine orchid bark and a little vermiculite to and it's done great I can't the only problem with it is I, it's very difficult to tell when to water so I've just been watering it once a week and hoping for the best and so far it's done okay I did transplant this plant because um, it was in a very small pot that seemed to dry out kind of quickly from what I could tell but I, I love the plant and um, we'll see how I make out with it getting it through the winter this plant lived in a north primarily north window all summer where it would get high light uh, in the late afternoon and now it gets like almost no light so when I saw that there were buds on this I put it in an upstairs grow tent um, that doesn't get very warm just to hopefully give it enough light to get the flowers to open and it seemed to work so I'm gonna leave it in that grow tent for now and we'll see how it, it makes out if I start losing uh, too many leaves or it's not growing I may take it out of there and try it in a in a window but um, that's about all I know about Hoya Linearis and I'll leave it up to you to to tell me your experiences with it in the comments section um, so anyway I thank you for taking time and visiting with myself and Hoya Linearis and I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya growing tips.